Hey, hey. Hey, everyone. Okay. We're back. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. I have to say that. Yeah. I, I literally <laughs> just entered the studio, hit live, <laughs> and you did my boo boo. It was like perfect timing. Yep. Yeah. So I was just showing Annie that she doesn't have to actually exit StreamYard completely. She could just enter the studio. So. Okay. Sorry, for, sorry that we were a little late, guys. We just had to go. Yeah, we, uh, we were just talking on backstage. And he was just so. giving me, showing me like the ropes of how to go into StreamYard on his channel without going through yeah. the whole StreamYard link Process. stuff. Yeah. Because now I'm an admin of his StreamYard. So. Yeah. So why don't you try having some fun? Because <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> this Ooh. is funny. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah no i no, i i i figured you know um oh, why the hell not you know in case i ever have a problem just so you might have a problem you could always end it if i have a internet problem or whatever so i'll be right back i'm gonna make some food Okay, I'm gonna grab and something. No, it's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. Uh huh. Right. Mm hmm. Sure. Thank you, Mara, and thank you, Raven. No, he he accidentally put the wrong time. He fixed it. Yeah, exactly, Mar. Exactly. Like we're supposed to believe that he's not he doesn't have chocolate. Uh huh. I know. I know. I don't believe him. But I'll put him back where he belongs. Bem, and if you're here, when Ian gets back, he'll drop your link for you, love. You guys are awesome. Dropping links. You guys are awesome. We appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for dropping links. Yeah, I know. Exactly, more. Exactly, I agree. 100%. So I see we have one person watching. Hello, person watching. What did I miss? Uh, we were talking about how you said you're not going to... Uh, you Go get chocolate, but I'm like, uh huh. Yeah, look at Mar. <laughs> See, we knew it. Uh huh. Uh huh. We knew it. I found another bar in the fridge. Uh huh. Uh huh. We knew it. Mar and I knew you were up to no good. So you got one person watching. Well, that's funny because we have so many. That, that can't be right. <laughs> no, it can't be. Nah. That can't be right at all. No, it can't be. Only one person. Huh. And Mars, the only one in chat. Well, because I think because you had the time, you had changed the time. Because Raven said she had oh. to still be back. Oh. Hmm. Remember, you had a schedule for later? Yeah, hopefully everyone doesn't get screwed up by that. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you have it set for? 9.15, right? Or something like that? No. <laughs> 9.55? Hey, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Everybody's like, wait a minute. Why, why does he say 9.55? <laughs> and he's like, hey, you know what? It could have been like a pop-up. <laughs> Uh -huh. You gotta admit, though, that was funny that when I scheduled it, I didn't check the time. Mm -hmm. Well, remember that night when I couldn't get into my life? Uh huh. If it wasn't for you, well. Three days. Three days three. you couldn't end that stream. That's I know, it's crazy. Matt, could you have imagined if you got locked out while you were in that stream? Uh, yeah, that would have really sucked. <laughs> that would really have sucked. 
I wonder if YouTube lets you. Uh, actually, you know what? It wouldn't have. You know why? I found out on YouTube Mobile that if you go live and you lose connection to it, it ends it for you. Gotcha. Yeah, you have to have a constant connection. Gotcha. And there he goes behind his avatar. It means he's going to get more chocolate. Hey, I'm, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to stick stiffy on you. We're stiffy. No, you won't. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking with you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You know I'm joking with you. Okay, now we got two people. That's great. Oh my god, I hope I don't confuse everyone. Ah, uh, I think you probably did. <laughs> They're gonna be like, technical. Well, I'm not. No, I'm not waiting. <laughs> yeah, I don't realize. I hope. Hey, you know, like I said, it could have been worse. You could have been like, have no phone trying to get, get your damn live stream taken down. You couldn't. Oh my god, yeah. That was a nightmare. So uh, today I went to the store. They did not have cornbread. So now it's pound cake night. Huh, that's funny. Hey, he was. He said, "I'm sick of having pancakes." So he's having pound cake. Then he'll have his ice cream. Oh, we're up to three. Yay. Come on, people. Smash that like button. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, my apologies. I scheduled it for the wrong time. Oh, we got two now. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Just do me a favor. Smash that like button. Show Ian some love and support. Yeah, I'll be Awesome, Mar. That sounds perfect. Hey, Ian, we should make a banner for your uh, thing and says, Welcome to Ian's Cougar's Den. No comment. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you, though. Yeah, that's awesome, Mar. I was, I was going to think of, I was thinking about. I was thinking about doing that for uh, him when I'm over at LC's. Yay, Chad Mix in the house. Welcome, brother. Good to see you. Ian's currently raiding the refrigerator for chocolate. He'll be back. How you doing, Chad? I hope you're doing good. I hope you have a uh, great weekend. I hope you had a great Friday. Mara, I hope you have a great weekend, too. So what's going on, Chad? Good, no time no see there, brother. Thank you, Mara. Mara, you want to come up? Yeah, we had 7.25 inches of rain Thursday night. No, Wednesday night into 
oh, until early yesterday morning, Chad, here. It was crazy. My backyard is still saturated. And it's been really windy here for like the last two days. Oh, uh, okay. No problem, Mark. No worries. Yeah, it, it was a lot of rain. Some areas still have washout roads and stuff. So they, the school districts decided that it was at the discretion of the parents of um, whether they wanted to send their kids to school or not. So, yeah, that was a lot of rain. My neighbor... Apparently, he didn't go into work today, so. Yeah, it was a lot of rain. Yeah, I felt bad last night. I went over Arky's trying to figure out how to play that game, but I think you have to have two devices to do it, because going back and forth from chat and then going into that um, what platform she uses for the games, yeah, a lot of wind here still, too. It's crazy. Chad, nuts. So I was trying to figure out how to play that game last night. I felt bad, you know, and I was like, oh, dang, that stinks, you know, like, how am I going to, like, you know. So I think I, I, I need two devices to do it because I can't, like, go, like, if I click on the link that they put up, it brings me to that site, but then when I go back, I can't play the game. I guess I have to have two devices to do it, I guess. Which is fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that one would be much easier for me than the one she was playing last night. The one last night, I had constantly like click on the link and then put the code in and then it would tell me uh, sit and relax or something like that. So I was like, all right, well, then I went up on panel. I was talking to her. I was like, I'm trying to figure this out, but it's just not working. So it is what it is. But I did have fun. You're tech clu clueless? Yeah, for, I'm pretty tech, you know, to a certain degree. You know, I understand certain things, but I just have to be careful hitting buttons. I'm not good with buttons, especially with touchscreen stuff. You know, it's a pain. Boy, Mar, he must be really reading that chocolate, hey? Hey, Chad MC is in the house. Nice, yes, nice, he nice. Is. Yes, he is, and I said it. Yeah, good to see him. Uh, yeah. Who else? Mar's still here. Uh, yeah, yeah, Chad and Mar looks like. Yeah, Raven was here, but I think she got screwed up at the time. Yeah, well, hopefully, uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah. Watch at nine fifty-five. That would all be pouring in. <laughs> well, I hope not. Hey, Waffles is back! Yay! Yeah. Um. I apologize. I schedule my live. Oh, hi, Chad. It's good to see you, brother. Um, yeah, I um, basically went and scheduled the live like I always do, and uh, didn't realize it set it for 9.55. So I caught that time and uh, then went live. So. <laughs> come on, you're pulling it. Come, come on a minute. You're pulling in, Annie. Yeah. Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear what I said? No, what did you say? I was saying we should have a banner go across that says, Welcome to Ian's Cougar Den. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you, though. You know that. Yeah, yeah, I do. That's cool, though. That's cool. I didn't put my banner across today, but that's fine. I don't care. We don't have to do it all the time. No. No, <laughs> Waffles, you know it. <laughs> yeah, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I didn't think I was going to be able to make it tonight because we had random high winds that were making the power flicker. Yeah, well, it's been very windy here for the last two days since there's all that rain. I'm surprised we didn't lose power. Yeah. 
Well, your power is probably underground, so. Well, the only one, yeah, well, most of our power is underground, except for the uh, high-tension power lines. Oh, uh, yeah, the so, high-tension lines, yeah. Yeah, you got, you know, like the transformers and all that stuff. Yeah, well, not around here. All of, all of our power are above ground, so. That sucks. Yeah. Siggy yeah. time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, good times. Good Are you stopping great. over at um, what you call it? At ten. Say hi. I, 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 I just might, yeah. Totally. Right. totally. Yeah. You going up? Are you going on panel? Yeah. Or are you going to just drop in chat? Oh, well, when I see the link being dropped, then yeah, I will. Okay. For a couple minutes. All right. Well, let me know. I'll hold it down. Yes, you will. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I'm not letting anybody up in panel until you're back, so. No, I know. I know. It's just a respect thing, that's all. Yeah, no, that's fine. Oh yeah, he's gonna be panel hopping. Uh -huh. Just for just for one for one of our support channels. All right, you know what? Now that hey Josh, go ahead, Annie. What were you gonna say? Now I'm that. gonna I'm gonna mute myself because you know what? Now you got me craving for chocolate, and my chocolate makes a lot of noise, so I'm gonna mute. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, Josh, it's okay, man. We'll make mistakes every day. Um, appreciate your apology. Appreciate your apology. Just, uh, you know, keep it cool here. That's all we ask. Pretty much. It's all good, though, bro. All good. All good. No worries, Josh. We're all here yeah. for you, brother. Congratulations, Mar. Very proud of you, love. Anytime. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Exactly right. Come on, people. Sub up to Mar. Get up to 170. Come on. Yeah, exactly right. Let me subs you at you. No, uh, I don't know. I'm not currently uh, looking, so. Uh, Josh, I have not had a chance to take a look at your uh, new picture, but I will definitely check it out. Thank you, girl. Um, thank you, Waffles. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Yep, Sorry. we always do. No, no, it's okay. It's all good, yeah. All good. Definitely. Yeah, I'll be right there, Carl. Okay, I'm back. I know waffles. It's really appreciated. We appreciate everyone, every sub, our moderators, our chat. I appreciate all of you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys rock.
That's what keeps us going strong. So, Mar, let me know when you how that uh, new wrench is working out for you. <laughs> I don't think you're going to have to use it too much anymore. No worries, Josh. I, I can't sing for the life of me at all. No worries. Hey, Mar, that's awesome. That's okay. Congratulations, girl. You deserve it. Wow. Damn. That's pretty good. All right. You know what? What the heck? I'll, I'll, I'll uh, go to my analytics and see what I'm at. Since we're uh, doing that, analytics, real time, 141 subs. Congratulations, brother. You're getting there, too. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hey, how many hits did that uh, video with Susie make? Of Susie, the shirt I did yesterday. Just curious. Um, well, let me switch accounts and then I can tell you. Well, just remember, there's music on it, so you might want to mute it. Don't have to. Oh, okay, cool. I can just click on the I can just click on the content and go to shorts and then look at it. So, uh, the one that you posted yesterday. Yeah. Uh, let me see, April. Yeah, that was yesterday. Six views. That's not bad. No. Nope. That's not bad at all. That's pretty cool. I have a bunch of pictures I took of Susie. I should, you know, I, I should probably put them into shorts. Maybe tomorrow I'll do it. If I feel Holy up to shit. it. Did you see what Mar said in views? Wow, Mar. Congratulations. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Damn. I wonder how many views I actually have on my channel. Anyway. Yeah, I wonder how many I have, too. <laughs> probably not that so, many. I, in the last uh, 28 days, have 3.K views. Wow. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, now I'm going to go 90 days and see what that looks like. Wow. The last 90 days, I have 17 and a half, no, almost 18K. Wow. And yeah, what's mine? I will switch accounts and find out. Like mine's, probably, mine's probably lower because I have, you know, I just got back from yeah. being gone for a month. Yeah. Yay, Raven's oh. back! Whoa. Whoa. Welcome back, Raven. We missed you. In the last Welcome 20. back, love. Was that you? Raven, my Raven. apologies for scheduling the time wrong. So, your channel... All the views in total in the last 28 days is 16.9K. That's not bad. That's pretty good. And then in the last 90 days, you have gotten 34.2K views. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. I wasn't that expecting. You know what? And here's what I'm going to find out. I'm going to do the lifetime. So lifetime means the lifetime of the channel. So the lifetime of your entire channel since you started it has 41.2 thousand views in total. Wow. Yeah. We're, 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 we're talking about our uh, cha yeah, channel. Now Raven was asking who has... I wasn't expecting that many. I said I was gone for a month.
He was first talking about me, Raven. Now he's looking at his stuff again. Raven, you are panel hopping. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm getting my dog a bone. Yeah, make sure he doesn't throw it at you. That would be awesome, Raven. That'd be awesome. That would get your numbers up. And we're here to support you, Raven. Yeah, Susie seems to do well with a lot of shorts I do for some reason. Oh, thank you, Raven. I really appreciate the support, love. Yeah, I do a lot of shorts with Susie. <laughs> Raven, I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. I work, you know, I work very hard on my channel. As does Ian, and that's why I try to promote Ian's channel on my uh, community post. I put up, I have to do another one for, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I have to do some, I'm going to try to do some tomorrow. I did, um, I did a few uh, real goofy ones, like I was doing like random ones with her and I taking pictures and I did some random like TV show themes and stuff like that. I did one with the Twilight Zone theme, uh, quite a few, it's crazy. But she doesn't like to, she doesn't like to sit still long enough. I think the one that was really a big hit was, um, the knife fever one by the Bee Gees with her, or the dis, you know, with the uh, dance party theme in the background. I think that was one of my uh, biggest uh, hit ones, and so was the uh, Cobra Cabana one too. That was another big one. <laughs> I tried it. I tried it. I had taken a picture of her and I together, and I did the uh, green filter, and. What I did was I was pop what I was doing the uh, BG's uh, this is where I came in and I kept like popping up in between the picture it was pretty funny yeah it was funny right? yep Josh hey oh you Mike's in the house welcome brother good to see you Yeah, I don't know what you're trying. What you're saying, Josh? Yeah, Raven, I'm a little confused with that myself. How you doing? Oh, I oh, I you, Mike. How are you? I can't ever get that straight. I'm just gonna call you, Mike. I'm making some cereal. Hey, oh, you Mike in the house. That's how you say it. Oh, you Mike. I know. I'm just going to call him Mike for now on. Thank you, Mark. Raven, in two weeks, I'll be the big four nine. There, I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah. Yeah, so a uh, really funny thing. Um, we have these frozen bones for Charlie. I, I'm mm -hmm. going to be eating, so I'm going to stay here behind Avatar. 
And, um, you know, most dogs, you know, will eat a bone, you know, no matter what. Right. Not him. If it's too cold, he'll try to bury it under the, in the couch, in your bed. So you have to heat it up with hot water. And warm oh. Water. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. Yeah, he's very good. Raven, I don't feel like a baby sweetheart, believe me. I feel much older. I think it's just because, you know, all, all that I'm going through, you know, taking care of Bobby and my son. Yeah. Man, I know Ian's got something up his sleeve because he knows when my birthday mm -hmm. is, so. I'm sure he's got something up his sleeve. I have nothing up my sleeve. Oh, uh huh. Right. Hey, all you, Mike. Good to see you, brother. Well, Ian is actually the baby here, I think. Well, Not me. I am. <laughs> oh, no. Did you see what I did? What? Did you see what I did? Do what? I switched us. Now, Raven, you're the you, you are not the oldest. Come on, you're young at heart, Raven. You're no by far not old. Uh, is OU Mike the only one we had to come in while I was gone? Yes. And Raven, Raven came came in, but you were here when Raven came in. Yeah. So yeah, Mike is up. Did I tell you what I did last year for my birthday? No. Nope. Well, before my mom passed away, at my her last birthday party in Jersey, she was eighty four. So she reversed the birthday candles on her birthday cake. So she told me when I turned forty eight, I had to reverse my candles on my birthday cake. Huh. <laughs> but my mom didn't never look at one bit of her age. As sick as she was, she never looked one bit of her age. She she aged really well. Yeah. Like I guess I got those good genes. Hey, Chad MC, you didn't tell me he was in the chat. Oh, yes, Chad. I forgot about Chad. Hey, Chad. No, he just came in, I think. Did I miss Chad? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, no. Ch Ch Chad just came in. Hey, Chad. Welcome, brother. Nice, nice, nice. Good to see you, Chad. <laughs> my hubby's got good jeans, too. Mm -hmm. Which means my kids are going to have good jeans. Well, I think it's Friday night, and we can start the shit up. Raven, no way. You're not 61. No way. You don't look mm -hmm. one bit 61. Oh, I see. I have two YouTube studios open. Why the hell do I have two YouTube studios open? I don't know. I don't know either. That's funny. Play with buttons, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Mar. Yeah. Yes, thank you're, you. Raven, you're 10 years younger than my hubby. And if he, once he shaves off his white beard, <clears throat> I'm going to shave it off. <laughs> oh, I told him I would because it's hard for him to, you know, stand up for a long period of time. <laughs> Mike's 87. Yep. Mar, thanks for dropping links, love. Appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. No, oh, I told him. Well, it's hard for him to stand up for a long period of time. Because if he puts so much pressure on his back, he's in intense pain. So yeah. I'm just going to get a towel and just get the uh, shaver and just beep, 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 done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, when I had my televisit the other day, because they're doing telemed with me too, because they, they don't like... Um, They'd rather have me be here at home with him in case, you know, even though the kids are here, but still, you know. Yeah. It's always good that, that I'm here with him because if he ever falls, 
it's not a good thing, you know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, I told him. Thank you, Mar. Thank you, Mar. I'm thinking about getting one of those metal bowlers. He wouldn't like that too much. Hmm. But he should, he'll probably be able to get one for free through the insurance, I'm sure. Now he's, now he's got better insurance. You're the best, Marv. So is Raven. Mm -hmm. You guys are awesome about dropping like So is Nana when she's here. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, guys. So what kind of cereal are you having? The same cereal I have every night. And that is? I don't know. You don't know. Cereal. You're eating cereal. You don't know. And how much of that cereal are you going to eat? How much is going to wind up going to the dog? All of it to me. That is awesome, Raven. You are a rock star, Raven. Yeah, you are. I'll be back. Okie dokie. Come on, you five people watching. Smash that like button. Give Ian a subscribe and share. Please. Raven, you're our rock star. Yeah, you definitely are. I think I might have scared a few of your lurkers. <laughs> you're up mm -hmm. to five. And when I told them to mm -hmm. smash the like button, they, two of them disappeared. <laughs> okay, whatever. Hey, I'm just I'm trying to get, get the word out there. Uh-huh. Oh, that's awesome, Raven. Well, you're our Xenia uh, warrior princess. How's that sound? Mm -hmm. Be right back. Okay. You are a warrior, Raven. You're an inspiration to many, including myself and to Ian. Okay, Josh. Raven, I wish, uh, which I wish, uh, Barefoot was around. So, uh, you know, we can all go hang out over there on Friday nights sometime. But he goes, he goes too. Sometimes he goes late, and he wouldn't be able to go over because he's a party pooper. You're welcome, Raven. Anytime, love. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. And he's here. Uh -huh. I was staying barefoot, Phil. Uh -huh. Raven. Cool. Oh, you would have loved his streaming. He used to play uh, live music. Like, all types of music, uh -huh. and it was a real chill chat. That's where I first met Raven. Oh, really? Yep. That's cool. That's cool. It was like the Friday night hangout. Nice. That's cool, man. Very cool. What's the matter, Josh? I hope you're okay, brother. Yeah, I hope so. You know, I can't type into chat because I'm going to come under you. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. 
I'm talking. Of course, I'm not putting spaces between here. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Raven, that was me that typed that, not you. Yeah. Mm, Josh, um, are you okay? Just like Tama has me a little bit concerned. Yeah. Raven, that was that. Raven, that was actually me typing, not Ian. Sorry, love. Yeah, with her being, with her being, right now yeah. me. Yes, I miss him yeah. too, Raven. Yeah, he's, he's a great guy. Oh, uh, who you talk? So the guy you're talking about actually passed away. Hmm. Huh? So he passed away, the person you're talking no, about? No, he left YouTube. What? Yep. How can I don't you know. leave? Wow. Well he, well, he came back for a short time, and then I think he left again. Because when I came back from my break, he was gone. Shit. That sucks. You would have loved his chat. He had an awesome chat. I bet. Raven was like our Friday night hangout. Uh, well, but there we have our own hanging out methods. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, if he were if he was still active on YouTube, he would definitely be popping into our chats because he's really yeah. awesome. He's an awesome guy. Yeah. He like if you ever came into his chat, he had like almost kind of like travel fun. Uh, not travel, travel, fun, um, travel fools, fools is a uh, type of voice, like a DJ voice, a real soothing, uh, real chilled. And he used to play all kinds of music. Like he would tell everyone, like email me what songs you want to want me to play, and he would play them if you can get them all into your in his stream. And he had to be careful of copyright. Yeah, but he was really awesome. He was an awesome guy. What kind of comment is that from Josh? I don't know either. I'm trying to follow. I don't understand. I'm a little, it got me a little bit concerned, to be honest with you. Yeah, Josh, are you okay? Because your chat makes no sense, bud. <sighs> Just asking. He says, no, I can't. I can't follow nobody. Yeah. Yeah, me Raven. Too. Same. Me too. Josh, you're uh, confusing us there, bud. Yeah. I start making sense there. Bud. Matter of fact, when uh, Barefoot used to do his shows, he's from, uh, I think he's from Ohio. And every time he, Raven will tell you, every time he, he came on, I swear that WKRP Cincinnati theme song would pop it right into my head. What's up, Raven? That's fine, he... my, uh, my girl. Waves. That's fine. What's up, Raven Love? I'm here. Thanks for uh, being here, Waffles. We really appreciate it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Am I right? And he just had it. I mean, he had the perfect voice for what he did. I wish he was still on YouTube. I miss him a lot. Mm -hmm. And he, he's like us. He didn't tolerate the, um, he didn't put up with any drama. None of that in his chats, in his chat. And he was the one that would be the one put, booting people. Right, Raven? He didn't have many mods in his chat either. I think he had a few, but not many. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Raven. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice. 
our warrior princess over here. Raven, yeah, have you nice. have you you haven't seen him around, right? Josh, everyone is your friend in this chat. We're all friends here. We all support each other. It's all good. You're just uh, kind of confusing us. That's all. We're friends here, but are you playing the uh, Jefferson's uh, Raven? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Moving up <laughs> to the east side. I'm just joking, Raven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Really? Mm -hmm. Is he use what, what channel is he using, Raven? Is he using Barefoot or is he using Ranger? Because I haven't been able to find him. Since I got back from my break, he was he was gone when I got back. Huh. That's funny. Uh okay, gotcha. You're the guest. Gotcha. Josh, you're really confusing me, bro. No to what, Josh? No what? You have us right. confused and concerned. And I don't know what he's uh, talking confused, about. I'm concerned. concerned. Just confused for me. Yes, yeah, very confusing. I'll start making sense there, buddy. Well, Raven, if you see Barefoot again into any chat or anything, just tell him uh, Annie was asking about him. Yeah. And uh, let, him, let him know that, uh, you know, where where to find me? Thank you, Raven. You're the best, Raven. Thumbs up. Yeah, big ups to you. And uh, same for Raven, more. Brave uh, mods, uh, drop your links, please. You guys drop your links. Get your yes. Thumbs up. That goes in my Raven. chat too. That goes in my chat too, mods. Greatly appreciated. I'm really yeah. confused with Josh. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, me too. Totally. Sorry about my kid laughing in the back room. That's fine. It's all good. I don't know which one it is because sometimes their laughs sound almost exactly the same. <laughs> That's funny. It's true. But Liam has a Liam has more of a like kind <laughs> of laugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well that pinch uh, well what that that nerve in his neck is finally gone. Now I got it in my shoulder. Yeah. Thank you, Raven. You're the best. Nice. Make sure you drop your own Raven. Well, that's the first time he's ever done sub only. Huh. Mm -hmm. Our friend that I'm going to be popping on to, I've never seen him put his chat in sub only. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, well, except only for like five seconds. Hmm. Or one minute, sorry. That's one minute in slow mode. Huh. Oh, I wonder if it has something to do with uh, what happened last week, maybe. Who knows? Well, it'll be well, live in three and a half minutes. Well, you know, his three minutes. Huh. Uh, no, no, not him. He's usually there on time. No, sometimes he is. Yeah. Mm, times. Raven, thank you very much for dropping the links and more you as well. We really appreciate mm -hmm. it. Make sure you guys drop your own links. Yes, please. You, please, guys, please. you guys don't even have to ask us to drop your links. No, never. Exactly. So I told JD when I went over there before, 
um, I started my stream before we did our briefing that uh, we made him a mod over on both of our channels. Nice, nice, perfect. That's great. So he knows. Yeah, totally good. Okay. Oh, you want to know, want to know something funny that happened to me last night? What's that? I got a free gifted membership. Yes, I know. I was in chat. I congratulated you. Wasn't when that you hilarious? Told, yeah, you told me, oh, I'm going to bed. And you left Stiffy and I backstage. You little, <laughs> you little, <laughs> you little uh, pooper, you. I'm not going to brag, but that is my, uh, in in my entire um, moments of um, YouTube, like between all my channels that I follow, that's my fourth gifted membership. Well, congratulations, brother! In like six months. <laughs> congratulations! Yeah, one of them actually got me a free T-shirt. <laughs> I I want a uh, T-shirt from LC. I'm still waiting for. I want the uh, rap. I got, I got it. From, no, my mine was from Trilogy Media, a scam baiting um, YouTube community that uh, I follow. Yeah, you know Iron Maiden shirt LC used to wear. Uh huh. He he was raffling that off one, and I won it a couple months ago. What? Wow. Yep. I'm still waiting for it, but it's okay. No worries. Yeah. Exactly. No one said hi to me in chat, too. Oh, well. Whatever. How many people watching? 39 people waiting. Holy shit. That's crazy. All right, so I'll be gone. Hold the fort. And I'll be... Ian! Ian, hold on. Somebody wants to say hi to you. Hi. Hey, bro. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Say hi to the chat. Hello, chat. Look at this scruff he's got going, Ian. Look. Yeah, Annie, I'll be back. Yeah. All righty. All right. That's my son, Liam. Say hi to Mark. Hello. That's my uh, oldest son. Raven says hello, Liam. Hello. All right. Oh, sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. Okay, I'm back. That's my uh, old, my older phone. My two minutes. Two minutes. My other son uh, has mental illness and severe social anxiety disorder. So, you'll never see him on cam. Ugh. He's a very uh, sweet kid. Both of my kids are very good kids. I'm not trying to brag, but they're good kids. Well mannered. He says, he said, hi to you too, Raven, and to you too, Mark. Okay, I put him on the spot with his scruffy beard, his little goatee he's got going. I just wanted to make sure when I went in his room, he wasn't playing anything, so I muted myself before I went in. Yeah, he's a good, both of them are good kids. Connor has long hair down, long, long hair down to his shoulders. Liam, needs, Liam wants to get a haircut soon. Or he might grow it out, but he doesn't run it real long. They both have, like, well, Liam's is a little bit thicker because um, he was in JRCT, so he had to shave any facial hair. So his is a little bit thicker than Connor's. Connor never shaved his. 
and they both have like little tiny little mustaches. Uh, Ian's probably getting more chocolate. No, just kidding. Yeah, they're good kids. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He was 52 when they were born. They were born six days after his 52nd birthday, Raven. Yeah. When Ian comes back, I'll pop puppy on. Because I got to mute myself when I go in there. Yes, he is the daddy of my twins. And they look just like him. Exactly like him. They don't look anything like me. Exactly. And, you know, I remember going to the food store when they were little. And I bumped into this gentleman, elderly gentleman, who was probably in his mid-70s, maybe. Early 80s, maybe. And he says, was that a buy one? Get one free package. <laughs> Just like no. Our first pregnancy, we were actually going to give up, and then, boom! I have a, a little bit too much to drink, and a little bit of too much four twenty, and there you go. Wow, that's big twins. Yeah, my those two were five pounds one ounce and three pounds fourteen ounces. But now they're almost exactly the same height and the same weight. But when they were born, Liam was 19 and a half and Connor was 17 and three quarters. Wow, Raven. I was a tiny baby. I think I was six pounds, eight ounces. Hubby was a tiny. He was like five pounds, if I can remember correctly. But they have, they look like Hubby. They have his... His whole, all, all of him, his, well, he's shrunk a little bit because of his back issues, but um, he's in, he was originally 5'9", five 5'9 nine, five nine and a half, and those guys are 5'9 and a half, and they got his whole body structure and everything. So they don't have, they're not short like me and not fat like me. Uh, I shouldn't say fat, but I'm overweight for my height so but yeah they uh definitely take over their dad wow wow raven i am five 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 two and those guys are 5'9". Hubby's probably now, I think, 5'7". But I gotta lose weight. I gotta lose weight. I'm definitely overweight for my height. I'd like to try to get down to... If I can go down to... If I can go down to, like, 130, I'd be happy. I'm not happy with my weight right now. But, hey... It is what it is. You know, I had two kids. So, you know, I just got to be careful, though. Well, that's awesome, Josh. Sounds like a lot of fun. Something you enjoy watching, I take, hey? I'm going to go behind my avatar and mute for a second. I'll be still here. I just got to uh, watch something real quick, but I gotta, I'm going to mute myself. So, Yeah, that's correct. Uh, I almost said Annie. Yes, that's correct, Raven. I'm in it. I mean, I am in Georgia, South Georgia. I am about 20 minutes from uh, Florida, the Florida state line.
I'm originally from Jersey, North Jersey. What you doing, key kitties? Oh, yeah, I have a family in Florida as well, Raven. Yeah, my family originally were originally from Virginia Beach, and then they uh, went it down to Florida because my uncle was in the uh, military, so they're military brats. So they finally. Uh, Got themselves branched into uh, which call it? Um, Florida. All right, I'm gonna mute for a minute because I gotta wash a few dishes. So just give me one second. Thank you for Raven for dropping the link and I'm doing well, Josh. Okay, I'm back, but I'm gonna go down in the bedroom so I have to mute because hubby has the TV on. And I'll let you guys say hi to him real quick. Hold on. Raven, that was my hubby. Uh, well, that's fine. I was just, uh, my hubby just popped on to say hi to everyone, but I had him muted. Thank you, Raven. Did you see my hubby saying hi to you, everybody? All right, hold on. Hold on, Rain. I'm gonna. All right, I'll pop him back on. Hold on, I gotta mute.
Yeah, I was muted because he has the TV very loud and I didn't want Ian to get a strike. Sorry, guys. He was just saying hi to everyone. Yeah, that's my sweetie pie. Now you see why I say my kids look just like him. They don't look like me. They look like their dad. <sighs> the cats left me a present in the hallway. Yeah. And I just stepped in a cat puke. <sighs> yeah, he has the TV on, so I don't want Ian to get struck. Yes, they do. Absolutely. All right, Josh, we'll be here for a bit, but no worries. So it's good to have you, Josh. I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, they do. They look just like their dad. Exactly like their dad. If I can, I'll um, see if I can pull up his high school picture and their high school pictures, and you'll be like, wow, triplets. Yes, Josh, have a great night. Where did our host go? Oh, I know where he went. He'll be back. I know where he went. I know exactly where he is. No, I know where he is. We just don't say where we go um, because of uh, the issue that we were having with the uh, young ones that were coming into our chats. So we don't say uh, where we go. So I know exactly where we went. We'll be back. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be back in a few minutes. Hope he doesn't forget about us, but I don't think he will. Well, that's cool. Glad to hear it, Ray. I'm glad they're doing well. That's good news, Raven. It's really good. Glad to hear that. Glad, glad, that. glad to hear that news. He's he's probably I know where he is. But we uh, have a thing where we don't talk about uh, what channels we go to because we had problems with the young ones, like I said before, and they were following us over to other. Uh, chats and it wasn't good they were causing problems for more for myself and it wasn't good oh raven no worries no worries don't be sorry no worries i know exactly where he is it's fine so cool so good so cool Okay, no problem. Take your time, Ian. No worries. Now, I just don't want to say where he is because, you know, we have a couple people watching and it could be the kids and they might follow him over there. So I don't want to, I don't have any problems.
Mar made that avatar for him. She made my avatar as well. Here, I'll put that back there. There we go. Try and get this. Uh, pound cake cut for him, and of course, the cats want to eat it. Oh, that's awesome! Really. That's awesome. All right, let me... There we go. Sorry, I think I'm back though. Longer than I wanted, but yeah, no problem. Yeah. No problem. I knew you. I knew where you went. I just didn't want to say because we have a couple of lurkers that could be the the kiddos, you know. Yes, we don't want that. Exactly. Um. So Liam was talking to everyone. Tom said hi to everyone, but I had to mute Tom because he's got the <laughs> TV there. Well, that's nice. Thanks for having some guests on. I couldn't hear a thing. <laughs> I didn't mute it the whole time. Well, I had to mute Tom because, you know, he's got, the, he's got the TV blasting in there. No, I meant I had the tab muted, so I couldn't hear Ah, uh, okay. Well, you'll catch on the restream. Mm -hmm. right, let, me, let me make his uh, pound cake, and I'll be back. In. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Dang, Cass almost hit the, hit the uh, red button. <laughs> you mean the you mean the end button? Uh huh. Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. What no, it's one of the. It's not Susie. It's one of the other ones. Really? Come on. The double trouble ones. All right, give me one second. Oh, Raven. I had a dog. Well, let me. I'm going to mute for a second because I have to put the microwave on for a few seconds. Then I'll tell you my story. Not that way, bud. Oh, that was cool. All right, go. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna come on my app. I'm back from under my avatar, but I'm gonna mute myself so you can say hi, Tom. Cool. You don't have to. I'll I'll be right back.
Okay, okay, I'm, I'm back, guys. And when you come back, you get your head, Tom. Oh, Raven. Maggie May, I love that name. When I had a when I was a kid, well, maybe we should wait for Ian to get back. Let me tell you a story about this crazy dog I had. Uh, I can't drink all my water. I'll wait for Ian to come back. I can tell you this crazy story about this dog I had. I'm gonna go be on my avatar. Hey, Ian, when you get back, uh, we'll pop Tom on if you want. Yo, I'll be right back. I'll be back. I'm on the phone. Hold on. All right. No problem. No rush. I'm holding the fort. Oops. Don't you mean good, Mar? Anything good? I don't know if you guys are know if you guys know, but most uh, black spotted Dalmatians. Oh, that sounds good. What kind of salad are you having? I like to, I I can't eat greens, so I usually when I make a salad, people laugh at, laugh at me for it, but I put olives and. Hey, hold the fort for another little while. I'll be getting a phone call on that. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I got it. Thanks, friend. Appreciate it. No problem. No problem, brother. You know. Yeah, I have so many dinner dates. You're a hot mama, Raven. That's why. <laughs> Can I have to fight them all for your ranch, Raven? Try to make you laugh a little bit. Oh, that sounds good. Wow, Raven. That's got to be tough. I know, like, when Tom's dad went for treatment, it was really rough for him. He went for both radiation and chemo, and it was really rough on him. And he didn't have a sense of smell for a long time until after he's until after he's he was done with radiation and then he got a sense of smell back and they they brought his his dinner in and had cauliflower and he hates he hated cauliflower and broccoli and he's like Ew, what the fuck is that smell and i said what are you talking about pop he goes, that's god awful smell. What is it? And I said, oh, it looks like cauliflower. He's like, ew, get that shit the fuck out of here. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> my mother in law, I felt bad for her. Between Tom, my father in law, and my brother in law, none of them would eat. They all were very picky about vegetables. So my father in law would eat stream beans. And potatoes. Tom would eat corn and potatoes, and my brother-in-law would eat carrots and potatoes, and that's it. I felt so bad for that woman. I don't know how she put up with those three guys. My guy, my guys are well. I got Tom, of course, and then I got the the, the boys, and my boys don't like well Liam a little bit more than Connor, but Liam for the most part he'll eat corn, he'll eat carrots. He'll eat some greens, but Connor, forget about it. He's like, ew, greens. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, he was. But I know what you mean, though, about the uh, the food part. He was, like, practically living on, like, in shore for a while. And it was rough, very rough for him.
Cause he always he always wanted his string beans and his meat and his potatoes. You know, it was rough for him for a while. So Raven, what are you? You're drinking a lot of shore and all that. You're drinking a lot of shore and soft foods. Yeah, that's why I call it soft foods. Yeah, that's how we were with him too when he was going through treatment. We we're just gradually like giving him soft foods, like so, you know, like eggs and stuff like that, stuff that he can, you know, keep down and stuff. But yeah, it was a rough go. Yeah, he was up to. Yeah, he was up to about five insurers too. Yep. It was rough. Yeah, I can understand that. When you're nauseous, you don't want to have, you're just afraid you're just going to, you know, it's going to make the nausea worse. You know, I know, like, like I said earlier, like when I had that kidney stone, I was so nauseated, I couldn't even eat anything. Without it coming right back up again, it was horrible. It's the worst feeling ever. Worst feeling ever. And I can't imagine what you're going through, though, Raven. That must be really tough. And I don't really particularly care for insure, to be honest with you. For some reason, that stuff makes me nauseated. That actually makes me more nauseous. Okay, that's good, Raven. It, it helps with the nausea a little bit, at least, I hope. See, I was taking, they gave me Sofran for the nausea, and it really didn't help me at all. But other people say it helps them. But for me. Yep, exactly, Raven. Exactly. It's just gross. I agree with that. If it's the same stuff I was taking. It's, some, it's like a little white pill, and it, it dissolves underneath your tongue. Now, if I get it through an IV, I'm fine. But if I have to take an oral, forget it. It's disgusting. Yep. It sounds like Sofran. Sounds like Sofran. I can get it through an IV, but if I, if I have to take it by mouth and have it dissolve into my mouth, and like you said, when you burp it, it's just like, ugh. Horrible taste. Horrible. And it doesn't help me oral. Like if I take it orally, like under my tongue, I get it makes me feel worse. But yeah, when I get through an IV, I'm fine. I don't get it. My stomach is very sensitive even to antibiotics, and I'm allergic to all the penicillins and all that. So I can't take any penicillin or any of that stuff. Matter of fact, I gotta go over to the pharmacy tomorrow probably or I'll, I'll wait until sunday and get my regular meds and then um because my allergies get so bad <clears throat> i wind up getting upper respiratory infections very easily so yeah i don't blame you there raven some of those new meds yeah i don't blame you um my mom was on, uh, what the heck is it called? Um, not exactly chemo, but it's like a chemo antidote. And she was taking that up until she passed, and it caused a lot of harsh side effects. And I'm trying to think of the name of it now, but I can't think of it right now. But when it comes to me, I'll let you know. Yeah, the, the so the one on your tongue is probably Zofran, because 
that's what it sounds like, but I could be wrong. They have so many different meds out there now. But yeah, some of those new medications you gotta be careful with. Like right now at the pharmacy, I gotta go over and pick up prednisone for myself. And what's the other one? Uh, Z pack and my regular meds. Because it turns out right now I have an overactive bladder that keeps me up all night. So I gotta take um, oxybutin, I think it's called. Yes, it does taste it. Yes. It's got like a strawberry taste. So yes. So, and there's one that also tastes like kind of like. Almost like, kind of like mint, but it's not really mint. It's kind of weird. It's like like a strawberry mint, I guess. I don't know, but I can't take that either. But um, so I have to be really careful with my allergies because every year, when everything blooms up here like crazy, my allergies lead me to a URI, and then I'm on inhaler and all that crap yeah it is gross i agree absolutely i don't like taking medicine period but two of my meds that i take at bedtime i have to take so but otherwise that's the only two meds i i have to take because they're my uh daily meds and then of course now i have to take the damn prednisone again and the damn seat pack again. And then he said that if I don't, if the prednisone doesn't do the trick, he's going to probably put me on an inhaler again. I'm not looking forward to that again. So, yeah, it sucks. But I guess it is what it is. But Tom is on um, two inhalers. One is a, just an uh, emergency inhaler. And the other one is his maintenance inhaler. So he's got to do one every day. And then one is like for like if he has a really bad COP, COP, COPD attack. Yeah, I'm going to. That's probably what's going to happen with me. If the uh, prednisone doesn't do the trick, I'm going to want to be in on that. Yep. So I just got done doing a CPAC just before I came back from my break. And I hate the way that stuff makes me feel. It just makes me feel blah. You know, like sucks the energy out of me. And so does prednisone. Everybody's like, oh, prednisone make you feel uppy. And it doesn't do that to me. It knocks me out. Gives me like the opposite effect. And I don't know if it's because of the interaction with the um, uh, prednisone. The prednisone and the, um, what you call it, the... Um, Z pack, I guess both of them interact, and maybe that's why I feel tired. Plus, my other, you know, my regular meds that I take. And Tom also takes medication for blood pr high blood pressure. And he's on a couple of medications. Oh, he has to take Flomax too for his prostate. And his doctor, well, our doctor, I should say. Even has them on a medication that loosens up uh, all that mucus and stuff because people with COPD, as you know, they have a lot of they build up a lot of mucus. So he uh, he told me that if I need to take that, he'll call that in as well. And I think he did call that in actually for me. And Tom never takes it because he hates the way it makes him feel. So he's on two meds for prostate and his inhalers and his blood pressure meds. And he's supposed to take one pill for uh, AFib. And um, luckily, knock on wood, if I can find wood. Here, there's my wood. There's my wood. Knock on wood. He hasn't had any more um, AFib episodes. So, um, so far, so good with that. But uh, he doesn't like taking that medicine, which I don't blame. It's a lot of medicine. Yeah, I don't blame you there, Raven. He was on, when he was in the hospital a couple, uh, a couple years back, they, which I, I found hard to believe, they said that his back pain was triggering AFib. I never heard of that before, 
ever. And our primary even said the same thing. He's never heard of back pain triggering AFib. And that's the idiot doctor over the hospital didn't know what the hell he was doing. And he was in the hospital for a couple days. And he came home. And then he was probably not home, not even, not even a month. And he tripped over an extension cord. And he went flying into his night table, which has, um, what the heck they call those things? Like metal brackets underneath with an opening. He f went flying right into that and fractured his uh, humerus. And they had him in a brace and everything. And then they decide, oh, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do that, blah, 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 blah. And next thing you know, they're telling me, oh, he could take Norco. And he can take a leave. So we were like, he didn't like the way the Norco was making him feel. So we were just like switching it back and forth. And little, you know, you got to be careful when you take too much of that a leave because it causes GI bleeding. And he has issues with that to begin with. So he wound up having a GI bleed. And I had he had to be rushed back to the hospital again. And over there, they weren't even taking care of him. They were rough handling him, everything. I got pictures of him bruised all over his body. Yeah, it was horrible. And because he had one of those braces that, you know, that come from your shoulder and wrap around your, you know, your back. And yeah, it was crazy. It was, uh, I went there, I was almost in tears. And I had, I went down to the hospital administrator and I said, listen, these nurses are, these nurses aides are manhandling my husband. He's elderly. And yeah, he was bruised up really bad, not only from the uh, him tripping over that extension cord. It wasn't a fall. He tripped over the extension cord. And I said, he's got back fractures, and they're just slamming him from one side of the bed to the other. They had him diapers and everything. And they were, oh, my God, that, part, that poor guy was a hot mess. And then he finally said, well, uh, what heart medicine are you on, Raven? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, it's, it is sad. If you know, that's the thing I always say to everyone. Like, if you have an elder loved one, whether it's your spouse, parent, grandparent, whatever, or sibling, you know, always pop in, check in on at the hospital, check for bruises and stuff like that. It happens so often. And the other thing that was sad was that poor guy. He couldn't even. I th that sounds familiar. I wonder if that's the same stuff Tom's taking for his AFib. It sounds familiar. I have to look at his pill bottles. But he doesn't take it for his AFib. Of course, he hasn't had any, any uh, AFib symptoms in like two years. So when I went in there to see him, poor guy's practically starving. They would leave the tray so far from him. He couldn't cut the food or anything. And uh, I finally had to say something. I went downstairs again to administration. And I said to him, explain to him the situation. He was practically starving. And finally, like, I filled out his menu. And I said, bring up extra insurer or boost or whatever you have. Bring that up for him. And... They finally did, but still, I mean, he needed to have some solid food in his system, too, you know? Poor guy. I was so aggravated. And I even asked the nurse, I'm like, is there any way possible that you can have somebody sit with him while he's, you know, while he, when he gets his food? So that way, you know, somebody can cut up his food for him and he can eat. I was, I was feeding him, and he said, no, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. I said, well, if you're not going to eat, you're not going to get out of here. You know, it was just crazy. Then they wanted to put him in rehab, and I'm like, nope, not happening. I'd rather have him come home, and he can have rehab at home. So he had physical therapy here at home. And I had a respite aide come out a couple of days a week so I can do food shopping because the kids at the time were in school, so I was I can do my errands and stuff. And I had a respite aide come out for a couple hours, and, you know, I didn't want him going to rehab because I know I worked it where my mom lived at. I worked there and I saw exactly what was, what was going on in, in the nursing home part of the facility. 
I didn't like it one bit. So from experience, I'm like, nope. And then after seeing what they did to him at the hospital, I was like, not happening. He isn't. And they were going to do the same thing when he fractured his femur. They wanted to put him into rehab. And I'm like, nope, not doing it. I'd rather have him at home getting physical therapy, occupational therapy, whatever he needed at home. He had. Now he's got really good insurance. He's got Humana. So all his doctor visits, except for his specialty doctors, are all covered. All his prescriptions are covered. All of it. So that saves us tremendously. Because a lot of those medications, especially his inhaler, the one inhaler he's on is like over $400. Now we don't have to pay anything for it, which is awesome. And like with my truck issue, if he has to go to a doctor, like a specialty doctor, and they won't do telemed, he we call up a couple of days in advance. Say, by the way, he has a doctor's appointment. Um, and they all arrange for rides, and I can go with him, which is awesome. And they'll pick, take us to the doctor and pick us back up. So that's awesome. So that helps out a lot. Plus, he gets a um, spending card, which is. He can use it for anything like for uh, over-the-counter meds, um, which he doesn't do, but like vitamins, um, food, stuff like that. Yeah, it's really awesome. So it's helped us out tremendously. So I did like a lot of research on like different plans for him for his Medicare supplement. So it helps out a lot. So, enough about my uh, poor hubby stories. Probably going to drag Ian's rooms down. Feel bad for the poor kid. Who wants to hear Andy ramble on? But, Raven, I just want you to know that I do th really appreciate you. And I've been thinking of you. Even when I was on my break, I was thinking about you. I never had any bad feelings about you at all. So I just want you to know that you're, you've always been sweet to me and you're a wonderful person. You've always been supportive to me. So I just want you to know that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Susie's chasing a cat. We're going to have a cat fight. Of course, Ian's going to miss it all. <laughs> so. So my recommendation Wow, or even that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know how they can get away with charging so much for what they charge for simple thing. I mean, not you know what I mean. Not simple things, but you know what I'm saying. Like say in your situation, like how they get away with charging so much, especially when it comes to like life saving. You know, measures and stuff like that is just absolutely ridiculous on how how expensive the medications are. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, no problem. No problem. Glad you're back. Welcome back more. Raven and I were just talking and chatting and stuff. Ian is, has a step boy. He he's on a phone call. He'll be back shortly. Susie! Dang cats. Wow, Raven, that's crazy. That is insane. You don't understand why they have to like put everything out of a hole and make you wait. That's just crazy. I never can understand that. It's just crazy. Well, you should be able to get back pay from them, right? I hope. For all that time you had to wait. That's just crazy. So what kind of salad do you have, Mar? Besides the, uh, I, I forgot what you had. Sorry. I think sometimes I have short-term memory issues. 
Raven, that's just crazy. That's crazy, Raven. Jesus, how do they expect you to survive? You know, especially with everything going up and everything. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I ate a little something before. I don't know. I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. So. Yeah, see, I can't eat lettuce. I can have cucumbers and I can have tomatoes. And so when I make my salads, I usually make them with tomato, olives, sometimes cucumbers. Um, but I like to have tomato in it, olives, and cheese and stuff like that. Wow, that is crazy, Raven. Jesus. Like, what do they expect? Things are going to change, like, over like over the next few months? I mean, it's actually absolutely insane. I don't know how they get away with that stuff. I really don't. This is crazy. Hold on, guys. Kids, trying to get one to give me a bottle of water. I drink a lot of water. And I got probably cut down because I drink so much water, it keeps me up all night. Even with the medicine, it's supposed to slow my bladder down. I'm still up all night going to the bathroom. But that would piss me off too, Raven. It is bullshit. And then, you know, like, the other thing that pisses me off is, like, when you get injured at work, and you have to wait for workman's comp, workman's comp to kick in, and then you have to go through all that bullshit physical therapy with them, too. That's bullshit. I remember when I tore up my shoulder at my job, and I had to wait almost three weeks before I can get my uh, workman's comp. Then I had to go for physical therapy five days a week for... Um, for five days a week, the first week, then I had, then they cut it down to three, then it was two, and then they gave me just nothing but the rigmarole, and they're not pleasant people to deal with either, at all. They're the most nastiest people you can ever deal with. And it, this is money that we put into. It's just absolutely crazy. It's insane. It's disgusting. And then, uh, like, I had issues with um, the uh, the place for that they sent me to for physical therapy. First, they told me, oh, you're only supposed to be here three times a week. And I'm like, well, according to what I was told by Workman's Comp, I'm supposed to be here five times a week. And then they were supposed to cut down to three times a week. By the time I was done, with, I, by the time I got to physical therapy, I was like, my nerves were shot just because of all the rigmarole I had to go through. And then, of course, my job took their sweet ass time getting all the paperwork submitted over to the physical therapy facility. And it was just a nightmare. It was just absolutely insane. I don't know how they get away with that crap. I don't. Because we pay into that work, Ms. Comp. Just like we do a short-term disability, just like long-term disability. It's absolutely disgusting. Like, this is money that we put into it. Why are we getting screwed? Why do we have to wait for it? It's just crazy. Just absolutely crazy. 
And I was at my job when I got injured. I was at my job just at my seven year mark when I got injured. And then they let me go just before I hit my 10 year mark. Yep. Same here, Raven. And I had a person that was not in my department, but she worked in social work and she fractured her femur. She was an old, she was older and she was a social worker. She fractured her femur, came back to work. And then her husband passed away. She was like, went through a lot. Husband passed away. Then she took a couple days, you know, a couple weeks off after he passed away, came back to work. And she was playing with her grandkids and she slipped on something and she cracked her head open. She was out of work for a couple more weeks. It was just crazy. Wow, Raven. I can't believe they're doing all that to you. That's not right. That's just not right. I don't understand it one bit. I don't know why they do that to us. You know, we work, we put all that money and all that time in, and then they just take it from us. Like when I lost my job, I would have been there 10 years, and they get, all they gave me was my PTO time, but my emergency PTO, nope. I never saw a dime of it. Even when I was out on workman's comp, I never saw a dime of my EO, my uh, emergency paid off that I was putting into. It's absolutely crazy. I hate that PTO crap. When they mix, you know, do they uh, pay time off where they decide, okay, you're going to get this at X amount of days for vacation, so many hours for vacation, so many hours for sick time. And all this other crap. It was just crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. But I know how you feel, Raven. Well, I don't know personally how you feel, but I know what, how you feel about the whole bureaucratic nightmare that they put you through. It's just absolutely insane. Exactly. It has nothing to do with your sickness. That's just absolutely crazy. I don't know how they can get away with that. That's just, just crazy. I wound up getting myself a... Uh, Workman comp lawyer, and it was just insane. Jesus, Raven, that's insane. Yeah, well, I forget how much I was paying for insurance because I had myself covered, Tom was covered, and so were the kids. So I was paying for like a family. I forget how much was coming out. Finally, right after how long, right? Takes them like forever. Finally. Just insane that they make us wait so long. This craziness. Ian, I hope you didn't fall asleep. <clears throat> no, he's probably still on the phone call. Which is fine. Yeah, and then, you know, the thing is crazy, right? Is that they, they hold it back from us for so long, and then they decide, then they, give it, then they bitch and complain that they have to give us uh, all that back pay, which makes no sense. You know, like, well, why would you, why, why were you dragging your heels for so long? He's panel hopping. No, he actually had to take a phone call. So that's, he should be back soon, I hope, because he hasn't given me any. It makes no sense. It's the same thing with Social Security, like when you file for disability benefits. Hey, uh, hey. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm here, but I'll be back. All right. Well, I got to go to use the girls' room. So the, we have two yeah, awesome models. Thanks. Sorry. No problem. I'll be there. No problem. All right, girls, can you hold it down? Because I got to go pee real quick. So,
No, I'm here. I had to use the uh, I had to use the little girl's room. Come back more. Thanks. No, I'm still here. I just had to run to the bathroom real quick. Okay, Raven, take your time, love. We'll be here. Oh, we have four people watching. For those that are watching, please smash the like button, like and subscribe and share for Ian. Give him some love and support. Thank you. No, Ian should be back any minute now, Mark. He just has that boy. Thank you, Mar, for dropping links. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. So, looks like. Um, looks like um, Josh is gone for the night, I guess. Nana's probably going to be popping in and out at some point. She's busy, uh, very busy tonight. Jess might pop in. You know, she's been having issues with her. Uh, she just got a uh, issue with her phone taken care of, so she should be. She might pop in. Thank you, Mar. Really appreciate it, love. Make sure you drop yours too. Same goes for you, Raven. When you come back, make sure you drop your link, love. Should we make a banner for Ian? It says Ian loves chocolate. No, just kidding. You kill me. What do you think, Mar? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to him. He would definitely kill me if I did that to him. Thank you, Mar. Really appreciate you dropping all those all those links. Greatly appreciate it. And no, Ian appreciates it as well. So, am I doing okay so far, Mar? Running the show here for him. All right. Congratulations, Mar. That's awesome. Hope I'm doing an okay job, Porches. <laughs> See if he notices when he comes back. Okay. Just worried I might be rambling too much. I don't know what to talk about. What do you want to talk about? What do we want to talk about? Susie, what are you doing? It's a, I mean, a slow Friday night, I think, because everybody, every, all the bigger channels are live. So, So what do we want to talk about, Mar? Welcome back, Raven, our warrior. He's back. All right, girls, what do we want to chat about?
I'm glad you're. Well, I'm glad you guys are here. You guys are greatly appreciated by both of us. Just so you know. Hey, lurkers, come on in. If you're not gonna come in, at least smash that like button and give and sub up to Ian and give him some support. Greatly appreciated. And share. You're welcome, Raven. Anytime, love. Anytime, love. See, I can't type into chat because if I type into chat, it comes up under Ian's name. So what do you guys want to talk about? Come on, guys. Give me some ideas. What was that, Raven? Oh, sorry, sweetheart. So what do you girls want to talk about until he gets back? I don't know what to talk about. I'm out of ideas. It's because I am the admin of his, his stream yard. So I have to, I don't know how to like switch accounts yet. I'm still new at doing this. So I don't want to screw anything up. If that makes any sense. And with him not being here, I don't want to screw anything up. So I am not touching any buttons. I'm not gone. I'm just doing some music computer stuff with a friend that's trying to help me. Uh, okay, no problem. I just had my headphones out, but I am here. Okay, I wasn't sure where you were. That's all. No, no, I'm here. I'm here. He's here. That's why. That's why his name comes up. So sometimes you'll see him in when he's when he when he types into my chat. Sometimes my name will pop up if he's under under my account. If that makes any sense. So that's why. Uh, we do what we do. Like the other night when he typed into chat in my chat and it came up under my name, that's because he was under my account. So that's why. And I also made him my channel manager because I was having a lot of issues with the trolls coming in, plus the kids, even though I had thought I had everything set for 18 plus but I didn't do that additional layer so now if I go live he sees that I'm live he just goes in he because he has a computer he can or he, he can just be anywhere he can just go boop and then he just uh yeah I know him but it's kind of complicated I don't want to touch any buttons if I touch buttons we could be in trouble So I don't touch buttons. Yeah, I, it's it's Ian can explain it better than I could, Raven. Be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just trying to just give him his watch hours and help him out as much best I can. Get him up, you know, like he he helps me out too, and that's just the way him and I roll. You know. I'm glad him and I are back together. He's a, he's a great person. You all are great people. And I really appreciate every one of you. It means a lot. That's what it should all be about, is supporting each other. All this 
craziness that goes on on these YouTube streets. Just let it go. Just do your thing. Everyone just does their own thing, and that's it. That's how I look at it. I've always felt that way. I don't go into many chats. This is, I go over here. I might pop over to, uh, you know, I go over to the other two other channels. And that's pretty much it. Maybe three tops. You know, I might pop over, over at Arkies here and there. But that's pretty much it. I go where I feel, you know, comfortable. And that's pretty much it. Nope. Same here, Raven. I agree with you 100%. I feel the same way, Raven. I feel the same way. 100%. I'm here to support everyone. I just do my thing. Ian, Ian and I do our thing. And that's it. Done. You know? I. That's why we really appreciate everyone that, especially, our, especially you guys, the moderators, who really help us out tremendously. And you nip stuff in the butt. That needs to be addressed. So, that's the way it should be. There's no need to be, uh, you know, whatever. I'm not going to say, I don't know how to word it properly, but you know what I mean. It should just be, everybody should just be, just be able to have fun and go where they want to go and have fun. It's that simple. That's how I feel. That's just how I feel. Just take it one day at a time. That's what I've been doing. That's why I take, you know, I took the break when I did because I needed to take a break. And, you know, sometimes doing this stuff can get to you after a while, you know. You just need to step back sometimes. It's good for you mentally. Raven, I absolutely agree with you 100%. Exactly. 100% on that, Raven. Totally. I, I back you 100% on that comment, Raven. Exactly. I agree with you 100%. One hundred percent. One hundred percent on that rhythm. I've moved past all the craziness and all the madness. It's all in the past now. You know, let it go. I have. You know. So. That's that. That's how I feel too, Raven. Exactly how I feel. So, um, the mama cat outside, she, she was here the other night. I haven't seen her since. So I'm assuming she might have had babies again. Yeah, I've heard all about it. I was on my break when all that stuff went down. I heard all about it. Heard all about that like when I got back. It's 
It's just crazy. To me, it's all childish stuff. That's how I look at it anyway. It is what it is. Like I said, I go where I, I feel comfortable. I go where I enjoy going. Yeah, I know. I'm paying attention, trust me. Oh, you had to get some chocolate, eh? Ian's rubbing his chocolate addiction onto you now more, hey? <laughs> well, I think I might dig into my Reese's Pieces. I have, I've been munching on them here and there, but I don't like to, I have to mute myself because that box makes a lot of noise, you know? <laughs> so. So what, what what are your plans for the weekend, guys? Mine is I'm probably not going to be doing really anything. I might try to um, get some of those damn palm tree fungs that fell. Pick them up, but those things hurt like a son of a gun. <laughs> Ian's ears must be ringing right now about the chocolate. He's like, chocolate? Are they talking about chocolate again? <laughs> we know you're rating that chocolate, Ian. Oh, Raven, I'm so sorry, sweetie. If you don't mind me asking, how much longer do you have to go for your treatment? Yeah, you just got to take it easy too, Raven. Just take it one day at a time. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't laughing at you, Raven. I'm reading Morris' comment. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I'm so sorry you got to go through all this, Raven. My heart breaks for you. This has got to be tough for you. So was it like six months? It was going to be, what, six months, Raven? About? Oh, sorry. Belly growling. Yeah, I bet. I bet, Raven. I bet you can't wait to have a nice steak and a good three-course meal. Oh, you started in March. Okay, that's right. I forgot. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm telling my, my, sometimes I think I have short-term memory. But like my doctor says, it's because my mind is always so busy, constantly thinking and worry about Tom and stuff and you know the stress of being a caretaker does wear on you too so he says so my memory loss is just that you have a lot of things going on in your mind Does that make any sense my doctor he's awesome he's my everything doctor you know he's my primary he's my psychiatrist he's everything like you know he helps me out with a lot of stuff so I can't ask for a better doctor and He's a couple years older than you. Yeah, 
And he's a cutie too. <laughs> I'll never forget when I first started seeing him. I was seeing another doctor who was old school. And his nurse practitioner swamped the other doctor. And she popped in the room. And this, this room, I'm not against religion at all. You know, people believe what they want to believe. But this was a very religious room. And she came in and she says, um, we're going to move you over to the other side of the hallway. You're going to go see Dr. So-and-so. And they put me in this really dark, dreary, depressing room. And I was texting my friend and I said, well, I went from the heavenly room to now the room from the dark, dreary room, maybe the room of hell. It was a, it was a joke. And um, he's, he's in the hallway and he start, he's laughing. And I said, oh, my God, this guy's going to be my doctor. They come walk. And he, he just knocked real quietly. And he popped in. And he goes, hi, how you doing? And I'm like, okay, how are you? And he introduced himself. And he's always like, so he, he tries to have, he has a lot, he has a great bedside manner. And he's got like a lot of empathy for his patients. He's awesome. Like, you can't ask for a better doctor. And so when one time I was talking to my mom on like kind of like Google Meets, but it was, I think it was, what's the name of that app? What's up app? I was talking to her and she, I, I had a doctor's visit for my med refill. And she says, she says, are you, where are you? And I'm like, I'm at the doctor. And she says, oh, doctor, good looking. And he, he came in. Just as she said that, and he says, who are you talking to? And I said, I'm talking to my mom. He goes, can I see mom? I said, sure. So she, so he goes, hey there, beautiful. I said, you better watch out. She's a cougar. <laughs> so, yeah, that was pretty, pretty funny. But yeah, he's, he, he was just, he was so, he's been amazing. He helped me through a lot of difficult roads that I've been down in these last few years. And he jams he he's the only doctor in the office that actually listens to 70s rock and I'm like, wow, this guy's in his mid thirties and he's listening to 70s rock. This is my kind of guy. <laughs> hey, that's why we hit it off so well. You know I'm old enough to be his sister. <laughs> he, he he's he he is a down to earth funny guy. One Halloween, I think it was after the uh, pandemic, and he he dressed up as uh, Steve Irwin, and they have pictures of him up on the uh, practices uh, Facebook page. And I said only he would do something like this. And then this this past Halloween, his uh, team all dressed up as the, did the uh, whole Elvis thing. Like, if you saw my doctor, you wouldn't even know that was him as Elvis. It, he just, he was all like jammed up to be like Elvis Presley. You, wouldn't, you couldn't believe it was him. I was shocked. I was like, what? <laughs> and I tease him all the time because he doesn't have much of a southern draw. And he's from Georgia. And I see him all the time. And I say, are you really for sure that you're from Georgia? And he goes, yeah, I'm from Georgia. I'm from, I'm a good old Georgia boy. I'm from Adel or wherever he's from. I'm like, oh, yeah, right, sure. And he's like, no, you want me to break it? Plus, I'm my southern accent, I will. Oh, you, I'm telling you, you saw my doctor. I showed you pictures of him. You'd be like, oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even, ever, I couldn't, I, at first I thought he was doing, like they were doing like um, a skit for uh, Richie Valens at first. And uh, so I said to him, I said, did you do Richie or Elvis? And he goes, Elvis. Yeah, he's pretty, funny. he's a really good doctor though. 
He takes good care of Tom and I. And the one thing that's really good is that I don't have insur I don't have insurance right now. So like he works with me with payment arrangements and all that stuff. So he's really awesome with that. Oh, that's awesome, Mar. See, I'm not. I, I wish I can draw, but I can't. I can't draw. I guess the only thing that I'm really good at doing is just being me. Yeah. My doctor, I love him to pieces. I love that guy. Because when my mom passed away, he would not let me drive home. I was in the office. He came in the day after. I had an appointment with him the day after my mom passed away. And um, when he came in, I broke down. He goes, what's the matter? And he knew my mom was sick and everything, but I wasn't expecting her to pass because I spoke to her the night before on video chat. And she seemed fine. I was busting her chops because she had her oxygen on top of her forehead, her nasal cannula. And I said, you know, you're not supposed to be wearing it as a head, headband, Ma. And she goes, I hate the feeling of the shit in my fucking nose. I hate it. That's why I'm wearing this on my forehead. <laughs> but um, I remember going to his office the next day and I just broke down. And I was crying. He, he sat with me for like an hour and a half. I was crying in his arms for like an hour and a half. And he wouldn't let me drive home until he knew I was okay to drive home. And he made me call the office to let them know that I got home safely because he was worried about me. So can't ask for a better doctor. I'm just so glad I switched doctors because that other doctor, he he rubbed me the wrong way. He was just old school. You know, he was always into the computer, wasn't paying attention to what I was talking about or my concerns or anything like that. But the one I have now, he's he's a sweetheart. He really is. Ian reminds me a lot of him. Yeah, he's an amazing doctor. I, he's, if he ever leaves the practice, I, I'm hoping that eventually at some point you know, like he's in the practice with almost six other doctors. And I'm hoping that um, at some point that he's able to get into his own practice, you know, because he is just, he's just amazing at everything he does, you know. That's awesome, Raven. That's awesome. It's always good when you have good doctors that are taking care of us and making sure that our needs are taken care of. Because my primary is the one that detected Tom's uh, COPD. And he's the one that's been taking care of all his COPD needs. Because he would, you know, initially he wanted him to go over to, hey, he's back. Hey, sorry. Um, a friend that told me something very important. Uh, no problem. Took a little longer. But we're good. No problem. Sorry if I was rambling on. I don't know what to. I didn't know what to talk about. Hey, I didn't even hear half of it. So if it's content, it's content. That's what matters. <laughs> well, we were just talking about Tom and stuff like that, and uh, I'm trying to. Cool. And Raven and I were talking about her treatment and stuff like that. And Mar, yeah. you know, we're talking about all kinds of things. We're talking about Doctor Good Looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I think so, yeah. My doctor. Oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, we know uh, you arranged you you were raining the, the fridge for talking. Come on now, we know. Can't fool no. us. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. Did, well, did I hold it down well good enough for you? I think you did anyway. I'm downloading a lot of software that is required to update, so it's gonna be choppy now. So um I think, um, even though I was barely here, um, thank you for coming in tonight, and much love, and thank you, my co-host, for holding it down tonight. That was much You're appreciated. Welcome. You, and, you, would, um, you would do the same for me. Exactly, exactly. So, um, guess what? What's that? You're going to end. I'm going to end. Well, you have to say hello to Tom first, but I got mute. Okay, fine. I'll fine. I'll end and then 
We'll stay in back chat. Or All, right. chat. Okay. All right. All right. Much love, everyone. Thank you. Much love, everyone. Thank you for that. Um, mods, thank you so, so much for dropping links. And I know that you guys say we want to ask first. Well, here's how it works. You guys are supporting us and keeping an eye on the chat. So it is your um, just out of self-respect to yourselves for what you do. There's no question. Just drop your links. Singles in my chat, guys. And I really, we really appreciate all of you. You guys are exactly. amazing. And our moderators, our chats, our subscribers, exactly. everyone. We appreciate exactly. everyone. Totally, and, 120%. And we all anyway, have to just... Not, yeah. Go ahead, Lord. Aw, you know, you're welcome, Mar. And, and, and um, you know, it's all about community. You know, we all support who we support. And, exactly. you know, it's it we, we grow as a community. You know, Mar has a channel. We promote <laughs> it. You know, it, 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 what goes around comes around, you know. We all help each other. That's what it's about. Exactly. You know, anyway, none of this. My, um, oh, love. yeah, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. Laggy internet. Um, much love. I'm hitting the awesome key on the keyboard. Um, same time tomorrow, both channels. So 8 to 9 on Annie's. And um, 9. Thank you, Raven. Love to you too, sweetheart. Aw, oh, thanks. And, and and you know what? The mods and the chat and everyone on panel, you know, that's how the community works. You know, it, it, it's not always about views and stuff like that. It's just having a safe place to hang out and... Uh, and have fun. Exactly. Have fun and exactly. just chill and slap each other every once in a while. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow night I won't be so away. I uh, had things to take care of. No um, problem. I hope so, I did okay uh, holding the fort down for you. I think you hope did. I, I, think you I hope did. I didn't drag the numbers out too much. <laughs>